Welcome to Tarantulas with Shanti. Today I have a special rehouse for you. This is a tarantula that I have been thinking about rehousing for a year since I first rehoused it the first time. Now this is a tarantula that we know can bolt around its enclosure, basically teleporting. You can't even see it, it just goes from one end to the other and I have seen it do that one time. And that was the first time that it was rehoused. And I had gone to put some water in there and it decided to do a lot of bolting around the enclosure. So everyone talks about the Heteroscodra maculata being fast, being very venomous as far as tarantulas are concerned. And they refer to it as the ball of lightning. So it'll be interesting to see how my rehouse goes, right? Um, and besides that, before I play that rehouse, I'm going to show you my Boomba Cabocla being rehoused. I'm going to show you my Formictopus species green femur being rehoused. And then I'm going to show you this little baby wolf spider that I found in North Idaho. I found it in a boat that was full of water. And there were two babies. I have both of them still since uh, the end of summer. And I have the mother and I show you the mother so you can see what they look like when they get older. Um, they're very small wolf spiders, but very good eaters and pretty cute. So I'm going to show you those and then I will do the HMAC rehouse toward the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will have another video out soon. Um, have a lot to share with you, so stay tuned. So today I am going to rehouse my Boomba Kabogla. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can prompt it to go up into the cup. And in there, let's see. Yes, I see feet. Feet coming out the other side. Doesn't even really look like a tarantula, does it? Long, tapered, skinny legs, like some of the true spiders do. This rehouse should go okay, but you never know. this dirty water dish here that I need to clean out. Now you can see um, that this one does a lot of digging, so I'm going to clean that out. And I think that that old enclosure is where I'm actually going to put my um, Formictopus species green femur because it's outgrown this deli cup that it's in. I don't really like to keep them in deli cups anyway, so I think I'll move it into the Boomba Kabocla's old enclosure and that should all just work out fine. <clears throat> now this enclosure isn't much bigger than the one it's in. Does anyone else have a dog who sheds a lot? My dog sheds so much it gets on everything. Even if I sweep it's like 10 minutes later. It's the same thing all over again. 
transfer the water bowl. And you know the little ones underneath. Give it this plant. I don't think we're gonna do a walkover. This one's a little spunky, so try to get it into this catch cup. Go on, little bud. Go, little bud. It's a pretty easy little walk over there. Fall. Amyctopus species, a green femur. Go right down into the hide. Perfect. Here I have a little tiny wolf spider. Um, this one came from northern Idaho. It's a wild little wolf spider. It was tinier, way tinier than it is now when I got it. Um, it's got a little bit of dead bolus or dead, it's a, it's a dead roach. So these were just little tiny specks when I got them. They were in a boat and it has grown I don't even know how many times, maybe eight times the size that it was, because it was so tiny. So here's the little guy, whoop, that was the rehouse right there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I just want to put it in a little bigger cup, so here it is in the deli cup, has a lot of room to run around, it's right there, here it is, running. These are really good little eaters thought they would be fragile but they are not and um, I don't know what they do during the winter time these wouldn't have made it through the year if they had to survive winter I don't know if they go into basements or what they do now this one's in a bigger bigger cup now I forgot exactly what species this is and I'm not sure if I could identify it down to the exact species. It is a wolf, wolf spider. You can tell by the pattern of its eyes. It's so small. There it is right there. I have a the mother as well, who I think is the mother. I can show her to you. Here is the adult. Um, you can see her right here. She has a good appetite. You can see that. She's ready to eat. So she has two eyes in the front, four eyes, okay, two eyes on top where she's looking straight forward, four eyes, little eyes under that, and then two more eyes on the back of her head. So that's the wolf spider pattern. Uh, you start from the front of her her face. She's got four. She's got four tiny ones, two big ones, and then two more in the back. Here is the enclosure that I'm going to transfer my H. maculata into. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Wish me luck. So here we go. I'm going to transfer. <clears throat> the Heteroscodra maculata into its new enclosure. Okay, I've got this set up. You just never know what kind of excitement is going to happen. So 
far so good. And there's the fuzzy little guy. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be a miracle if I could just get him to do a little bit of a walkover? If it doesn't work out, he or she escapes. Um, Thanksgiving will be cancelled here. We won't be having any dinner. <laughs> just kidding. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This is not going to post until after Thanksgiving anyway, so... <clears throat> All right, so everybody talks about how these are just lightning fast. So how can I get this one to go into the new enclosure as easily and less least stress as possible? Oriole species, also known as the Togo Starburst Baboon. I broke my <clears throat> my um, bamboo tongs, so that's not an option. Well, this one hasn't been disturbed in a long time. I rehoused this one over a year ago. That was the end of it. It's definitely not going to move easily. And it might just totally bolt. Come on, little one. It's very secure in this enclosure. up there a little bit. Just needed something a little more firm to... Oh, we went back down again. The last time when I did rehouse this one, I did a lot of sprinting around. There you go. That was pretty easy. All the lightning. Let's see where we're at. Well. Once again, Shanti brings you another boring rehouse video. Probably never see this one again after today. Nice, this bark is very good for camouflage. This one hasn't matured yet, so I actually don't know if it's a male or a female. very brown and a little bit pink. As soon as it finds one of the holes in the cork bark or the burrow, it's going to go away. Down into the ground and who knows, will we see him again? Maybe in the middle 
middle of the night. I'm gonna snap some pictures while I have a chance. Disappeared. There you have it. The infamous H. Maculata.